Hi, we're Darius and Ocula Grant of DIY Power Couple. And we're going to show you our top five carpet removal tips. Tip number one, wear cut resistant gloves. Here are some of the tools you may need during this type of DIY project. Wearing cut resistant gloves can reduce injuries and protect your hands from getting poked on the tack nails as well as other sharp items that may be in your carpet. Tip number two, start in a corner. Have you ever asked yourself, how do I start taking up my old carpet? Well, we learned if you use a sharp utility knife and make cuts in the corner, you'll be able to pull up your carpet to expose the underlayment. But please wear cut resistant gloves before grabbing underneath. You can make the same kind of cut for your closet carpet as well. It really doesn't matter what shape the cut is, as long as you're able to pull up the carpet without cutting yourself on the tack strip nails. Tip number three, cut the backing. Something that we found when cutting carpet is that when you cut on top of the carpet, it's a little tougher than cutting underneath the carpet. It takes less effort to cut the back side of the carpet with a sharp blade when it's folded. Oh yeah, it gets in there. Cutting the carpet fibers from the back with one hand while separating the top piece with the other is one technique that can work for you. When you cut the underside, you're cutting the strongest part of the carpet and making it easier to handle. Tip number four, create small sections. When you cut small strips of carpet, they are more manageable and not as heavy. Tightly rolling the sections will keep them from slipping apart and it gives you more room in your workspace. This tip is especially useful when you have carpet to remove in the closet. The nice thing about the smaller sections of carpet is that it's easy to tape and transport throughout the house without hitting anything. And the smaller sections fit right into the dumpster. Hey guys, click the link in the description to see the full carpet removal video. Small carpet sections like this are ready to pick up and put in trash bags, making it easier for disposal. Hey guys, this is a bonus tip. Fold the carpet under pad instead of cutting it. Folding will reduce the amount of dust and debris that flies into the air and it will make it much easier to bag. Tip number five, remove the tack strip at an angle. Once you figure out that the flat side of the pry bar should be on the ground, you can then hit the top part with your hammer. Tapping into the tack strip at an angle will reduce the amount of cement you pull up or how many gouges you make in your wood floor. Remember to remove all of the nails that may not come up with the wood pieces. Check out what we did after we removed our carpet. We hope that these top five carpet removal tips help you with your next DIY home improvement project. Click the links in the description for more DIY videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.